Hi, welcome to the video. This is Mike Falco Flips. I thought today I was going to do something a little bit different. Rather than strapping the GoPro to my chest, I'm going to just kind of carry you guys with me uh, just like this. And uh thought maybe we'd get a little bit of a different like angle of things. And I'm also going to just show you the stuff that I actually pick up or if there's anything like particularly interesting, I'll show you that as well. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video. And also later on, I will show you some of the things I picked up in the week. There's some pretty cool things in there. A couple of things for anyone who lives in the Northwest, they will remember this vintage kind of nostalgia from back in the, I don't know, 90s. Uh, you will see at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Right, we're going to hit the first one just down here. I've got about an hour, so an hour. See what we can find in that length of time. Let's go. I just thought it was good to have like a little bit of a different angle going on. It's always like the same angle. I suppose I could mount you up here like I used to instead. But we'll see. I thought I'd give this a go. So one of you guys actually told me about this, so to pick it up, so I will, so thank you very much to the person who that was, two quid. Yeah, so thanks to the person who told me about this, uh, it's from Sheriff Cali, which I know of. I just didn't, you know, I know some of the characters from that. I didn't know there was a horse like this. So, it's a Disney thing. And I just had a quick look, and they go for about 20 quid. So, there we go, two quid, 20 quid. Thank you very much again to the person who told me, because I would have had no idea otherwise. So yeah, schoolboy error. I forgot that the shop I was just at doesn't accept card payments, so I don't have enough to pay for all those books. Basically, I got a load of Goosebump books. I got a little bit on film. Uh, there is loads of them. Um, I don't know if there's a full running order, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, there were about 60 of them. Um, and then there was a Harry Potter book as well, and there was a little toy. Anyway, I owe them 25 quid for the lot. Uh, which is just about all right like it's kind of teetering on is it really worth it but i think it is because i've done well with the old goosebumps books it needs to be the old ones not the new ones i find the new ones for me personally from the ones i picked up don't really do that well but the old ones do in bundles big bundles they do well so i'm just at the cash point now i'm gonna get some cash out head back there but while i'm here there's like a charity shop just over there and there's a charity shop just over there I wasn't going to go to these ones today, but I am here, I may as well go. So I'm going to be quick though, because I don't want the guy to sell the stuff that I've just put to one side at the tip shop. It was getting quite busy in there, so I need to be quick. Let's go. I see some games in there. I don't think any of them are worth anything, but let's have a look. There's yeah, so no video games in there that are any good anyway. But I did get a jigsaw and a, I've literally just bought it and I can't think, the model set. The model set was more expensive a few days ago. They've reduced it down so it's now worth buying. Jigsaw paid up six quid. Brand new though, sealed, vintage, Waddington's, train, all these combinations of things together makes it worth buying for six quid. 
otherwise it might not have been worth it but i've sold ones like this before for like 20 30 quid so we should do okay with that right next one this is cool this is not vintage though is it some kind of remake no if this was like a proper vintage metal one it's still kind of cool though three pounds 90 might have to have a look into that in a minute. I have no idea why, but these seem to go for fairly good money. Look, 28, free postage, 36, 47. I'm guessing that's new. It's not telling me whether it's new or not. That's odd, isn't it? Oh, it's new. And they are supposed to have all these like marks here. But for £3.90, I'm going to have to buy it, aren't I? It's a bit bulky. I can't not buy it seeing that profit margin. So let's get it. Yeah, so I got it. There was a piece inside that needs to be stuck back onto the lid, which is fine. Well, it's not a problem for that price. I did, love, I did have a look at the solds as well. Um, and they are selling for like 35 to 40-ish. So, you know, it's a no-brainer. Um, it's a bit of a funny one though because it's like Heineken branded is it like an official Heineken thing I always get a bit wary of these things do you know what I mean is it a, an officially licensed product I'll have to have a look um, if not I'll probably have to keep it right let's go and get those books from the tip shop then we're heading up the road to a couple up there and then that's going to be it so considering we've only been to what one two three four so far and we're going to have gone to another two so that's six We've already done okay. Like if, if it stops at this, with the books included, if it stops at this, then that's fine with me. Definitely should have emptied the car before I came out. This is all some of the stuff that I got yesterday, which I said I'll show you at the end. It's this stuff plus a bit of the stuff that's already at home. But anyway, I'm trying to, just struggling to get this stuff in. I think I'm gonna move this boat into the front. Um, but just a very quick look. These are the Goosebump books, these are the kind of classic design ones you want to be looking out for. I'll have a good look when we get back. There's also an Xbox 360 wireless adapter for £3, so I picked that up. I don't think they go for crazy money, but I think it's at least a tenner plus postage, so we'll have that. Um, and this as well, I'm not sure some of these uh, Toro Loco ones, the Bull ones, some of these could do well. I don't think this is a special one. But you never know. This was, well, just kind of thrown in with the books. So, yeah, I didn't really need anything this weekend, you know. I, the plan was to not hit any charity shops today. But when somebody, a couple of people mentioned a couple of things I missed in my last video, I thought I may as well go back and try and see if they're there, right? So, I got one of them, the horse, uh, the Disney horse. Uh, but the other one is at the next charity shop I'm going to so we'll see if that one's still there That's worth about 20 25 quid and it is probably up at a pound or two like the horse yeah, It's a plush Henry Hoover little plush thing. I'm guessing it was like a promotional thing. Was it perhaps? I'm not really sure Anyway on to the next two Then we will have a look at everything when we get back see how much money we're actually gonna make Right, so there's one just down there. And there's this one across the road So let's go very quiet today around here. It's usually busy at this time. Very quiet. It's not cold either, or raining. Right, let's take a look at the window because they often have some pretty decent stuff in this window. That glow in the dark dinosaur jigsaw. It's my son's birthday in two days, so he'd probably like that actually. £1.50, we don't really need more stuff like that, but he'd like that. He'd like the fact it glows in the dark, I think. I'll get that one. What is that? That looks cool. I'm getting straight into that. Some kind of ceramic house, but it's in several different parts. I can see there's a little bit of damage going on there, but depending on the brand, that might be really good. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so 10 quid. What actually is it? They're salt and peppers. And 
guessing the that sugar. No. Oh, okay. Oh, I am definitely buying this. Even with the little bit of damage it's got. Yeah. I don't even know the brand, but it doesn't matter. That's a no brand thing. Doesn't matter. That's still gonna still gonna be good I think. So just that set of ceramics, that jigsaw's gonna get for my son. Uh, it was pre-owned and I'm not sure if all the pieces were there, so I left that. Anyway, this is still still looks like there's 50% off in here, as you'll see. So let's go and have a look, see what we can find. This is the last one. Does anybody remember this? I do not remember this at all. Mega Bowl Pepsi. No idea. Yeah, there's nothing in that one, nothing at all. I'm guessing with it being 50% off, you know, it's already been picked over. So that's it, six shops in just over an hour. So there we go. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Right, let's go to home a little bit later on where we'll have a good look at everything. a bit later on let's have a look at what we have picked up today so we've got this selection of jars well salt and pepper and then these we've got four jars here of different sizes just like that got these two here at the ends i've never ever seen anything like this before and i know you know you know i pick up a lot of ceramics and stuff um I've never come across anything like this, so I don't really know how much money there is in this, but I just really like it. And even with the little bit of damage here and there, the odd little chip, there's only a few, just a few little ones. And the fact that there's no brand is a little bit disappointing, you know, if it was like a Rayware or something older, something, you know, something I can put in the title. Because I really, I, I mean, I've tried looking for this out there. I can't find anything like this. I've tried Google image searching it. Nothing's coming up. So I'll pay £10 for these. I'm going to be asking for, I don't know. It, it's difficult to put a price on this. I don't think we're going to be talking like a massive, massive price. But 50 60 at least, I would think. I'm probably going to go a bit higher than that to begin with. Um... If it was branded, if it was like a decent brand, would probably be asking a bit more. But because it's unbranded, I'm going to go a little bit less. And because there's obviously you know, the odd little flaw here and there. Is it the kind of thing you would pick up to resell? Or would you not want to be dealing with the fragile nature of it? And the fact that it will probably sit for a little bit before it does sell. It's not going to be a fast mover, I wouldn't have thought. Right, let's take a look at the other things we picked up today. So next is these, that's the Heineken stool that we got, storage stool. Uh, you see that bit in there needs kind of sticking back onto here. That's all that is required. Um, these go for about 35 to 45 new. And that includes postage. So, you know, I wouldn't have paid, I mean, £3.90 is how much I paid. That's kind of why I picked it up. I thought for that price, that is a pretty good little thing that should sell. Uh, maybe come it's like spring, summer, coming into like barbecue season. I think we'll make about £20 profit at least on that one. Uh, this is the blue horse that I went back for. Somebody mentioned in my last video that they do okay, that they'd recently sold one themselves. And £2 is what I paid and they 
go for about £20 free postage, so not too bad. There's a couple of little stains on here, I'm pretty sure they will come off. Uh, this was £2.99 Airfix set. They, you can see here where they put a new price tag over the old one. I think that was £4.99 originally. And these go for about £18 to £20 new. This is new, but it's the box is a little bit worse to wear. Uh, but we should be able to get at least like 16 quid, I reckon, free postage. So £10 profit, all said and done on that, thereabouts. Uh, this is the jigsaw puzzle that's brand new sealed. It's a vintage Waddington's one. I can't find this particular one out there. But I can't find this particular range out there at all. You know, 5 is paying up for a jigsaw puzzle, it is. But when it's a vintage one like this, and it's trains, it should do quite well. Hard to say exactly how much, but we're definitely going to make a bit of a profit. I'll probably aim fairly high on this, maybe £30, something like that, accept offers, and uh, see what happens. So here are all the pickups from the tip shop today. Loads of books. Now, we don't have a full run here, but it's not far off. There's a few missing. And as you get like a bit later on, there's quite a few missing between like 55 and 61. But still pretty good. Pretty good run of them. And uh, I wonder if the, the whole full collection was there and that people have just taken a few in the time that they were, they've been in the shop. I'm sure these were not here when I went to the tip shop on Wednesday. I don't think they were, but maybe they, maybe they were and I missed them. But yeah, nice little collection. We've got these like original ones, these are newer ones. And we've got this Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix. I've just never seen this particular uh, style of book before. It's probably really common, but I've just never seen it. It was, uh, it was 50p, well they were all 50p, but he did do them a bit cheaper for me. Um, and I got this kind of thrown in as well. So I paid £25 for all the books and this, and I think that's really good. Obviously, you're going to pay less than that at like a car boot sale, but it's a shop, you know, they're there to make money. And these aren't worth that much by themselves, do you know what I mean? You have to have quite a good collection of them for people to really, you know, pay up for them. And this is like a special edition one. I think originally it came with like a, a light up here, but it's gone it's not there you put the batteries in there yeah this is worth about 15 to 20 i think hard to say not many available in the uk in fact only one available at the moment in the uk and they're asking 20 pounds plus postage for it so i'll come in a little bit under that see if i can sell it it's in really good condition and this xbox 360 wireless adapter these sell for up to 13 pounds free postage so all said and done, what, about seven or eight pound profit. So I'm not done yet. I've got a few things to show you that I picked up in the week. Let's have a look at them. So this is most of it, but there is something I'm gonna show you in a second, which I think is really cool. And also I've got some Playmobil, which is upstairs. It's a big like pirate ship and a load of figures and a load of accessories and stuff. We might be keeping that for ourselves. That was eight quid though, which is a bargain. And this is most of the other stuff. As I say, I'll show you something else in just a second. But let's have a quick look at this stuff. This was a Hot, was a hot Wheels big ultimate Nemesis bundle. Only £8. And this is pretty good. I think this is new. I can't quite... I'm not sure, like... I'll show you what I mean. This box here has never been opened. Never been opened. But all this, I'm guessing probably shouldn't just be loose like this but maybe that's how it came i don't know i'll have, to have a look and see how people other people are selling them you know what they should look like and then there's like a big like bag of toy cars which is open but it does say on the box that they've included a load of extra cars with this so maybe somebody's just opened it to put the extra cars in i don't really know but regardless for eight pounds the eight pounds that i paid we're going to be doing pretty good with this a couple of cookie jars here this one's quite good victoria kitchen company this particular brand in the past has done all right not sure if it still does not picked it up in a while and this is just like a run of a mill one two quid that was two quid as well you know really good condition um not sure on this one probably you know not a great deal but it's from it's vintage from 1999 premier housewares 
Um, here we have a Winnie the Pooh Funko Pop. This charity shop keeps getting Funko Pops. Don't know where they're getting them from. Some of them pretty good, but they're asking ten quid for all of them. And you know this. So this was ten quid, which is obviously paying up. But this particular one is pretty good. Should go for about twenty-five to thirty pounds. I'm happy paying up a little bit when the sold comps are so good on them. There's not that many of them for sale on eBay. So not in this country anyway. So we should do okay with that. Um, yes, I know you're thinking, what is this all about? And yeah, do you know, I was. it was one of them where I was at the till and they had like a little box with a load of random stuff and it caught my eye because it's, as uh, many of you will know, this is like proper vintage. Um, I don't know, guess the year, because I, I don't know. I feel like I vaguely remember Head and Shoulders being this shape of a bottle. But I really, I'm really not sure. There is no date on here. Maybe I'll do like a Google image search, see what comes up, if anything. But yeah, I don't know. Um, let's open it and have a quick look. It's probably got no value to this. I mean, I don't really know. Who would buy this? Would somebody buy this like as a prop? You know, if you were making like a something set in like the nineties or whenever this came out. You know, would they bother, you know, spending money on this stuff, or would they just get people to make it from scratch? I don't, don't really know. But fifty p, what, what would I, what should I do with this? I will definitely not use it because uh, I will definitely go bald much, much sooner if I do that. I'm sure. Um, let's have a look. Is it? I'm gonna have a smell of it. Let's have a smell of it. Oh, yeah. It smells well, like shampoo, funnily enough. What do you think? Is anybody going to want this? Where should I sell it, if anywhere? Should I drain the contents of it out before I try and sell it? What do you reckon? Let me know down in the comments. Here we have a couple of Atmosphere games, the original game and the one of the add-ons. This inside is brand new sealed. The cards and the v VHS tape are brand new sealed inside. And this is like the best condition atmosphere game I've ever seen. A lot of the cards in there are still in their, um, you know, like original card that has not, they've not been pressed out yet. So, yeah, really good condition. Uh, this one in kind of like average condition, it goes for about 15 quid plus postage. So in this kind of condition, maybe 20, a little bit more, perhaps I only paid a pound. This was only a pound. Uh, some of these add-ons to atmosphere can go for pretty good money i don't think this is one of them though i don't think this is worth a huge amount it's obviously going to be worth a bit more because it's you know new inside but uh might sell them together might not not sure but these sell i find these sell all year round it doesn't have to be like near halloween and this here i picked this up it was actually in with a load of cuddly toys and uh, it was a pound and when I got home, I had a look inside, and to my surprise, there was a loose DS game in here, in this pocket. I've already taken photographs and put it away upstairs. Um, it was Dragon Quest, I think it's called. I'll put it on the screen now. That's what it is. It's just a cartridge only, but I think it is worth about 15 quid. So, not too bad. Not sure how much the actual bag is worth, but I just kind of thought it was kind of cool and glad i picked it up so that brings me to the last item which is my favorite pickup for a while and i actually got nine of these they are just there nine of them yes it's a tea towel i know but check out what it is anybody who is from lancashire or perhaps used to i don't know come here on holiday or anything will hopefully remember this and it's called Frontierland, and it was a Western theme park or Western theme theme park in Morecambe. I don't remember this to be honest. I, I know the name, I, I do know the name Frontierland, and it's not just because there's like a Disney area called that or a Disney park called that. I know it, I've heard it mentioned over the years um, how it like used to exist. Uh, Claire remembers this, she actually still has the cuddly toy of this guy. Does anybody out there remember this? Let me hold it up so you can fully appreciate it. 
I just love like old theme park memorabilia. I mean, these are like, you know, brand new and who knows where they've been for the past, I don't know how many years. I'm going to have a quick look actually and see when the theme park actually closed. Yeah, and as I said, I've got nine of them. Not sure how much to ask for these, but I'm pretty sure I'll be the only person selling them. So I've just looked and it says here, Frontier Western Theme Park was a theme park in Morecambe, Lancashire, England, situated on uh, Marine Road West, which operated from 1906 to the 7th of November 1999, with a final year consisting of only travelling rides in the year 2000. So, 21 years ago is when it was last open. Yeah, this is my favourite kind of thing to pick up. I just, you know, part of reselling, the thing I love the most, or, you know, one of the best things about it, is finding all this old stuff that you had as a kid or you remember seeing at the time maybe you know maybe you didn't have it as a kid maybe your friend had it as a kid and you're finding this stuff and it is like a nostalgia trip you know some people are just not nostalgic about this stuff at all like take my brother for instance he, he just doesn't care like he, all these old toys and stuff he's just like you know just sell them i'm like you might want them one day he's like no why would i want them again it's like well I don't know, maybe you'll have kids and you'll want them to have it. And he's just like, no, no, I'm not, you know, he's not nostalgic at all. And I know a lot of people are not, but I am. And I love all this like vintage stuff, all this, all you know, these old video games, these old board games, things like this tea towel. Um, what about you? Are you like that as well? Do you love all this vin old vintage stuff? Why do you like it? You know, let me know down in the comments. What, you know, why do you like the vintage I don't know, pottery, the, the old video games. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you could. That would be great. It really does help out. It makes the videos more visible to more people. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one.